We get to meet the Arkells on Thursday. Hey guys, guess what? You know that guy who I thought Suja is going to teach you backstage etiquette? Sure. Well, he, I think he's at the science center. Let's oh, go. Let's go. What we wait? Oh. Hey, are you Sebastian Taylor? I am. How are you? I need, I need you to teach my brother etiquette because I met Steel, Steve Earl. Awesome. And who are you going to meet backstage? The Arkells. Awesome. Great band. Sure, I can help you with that. Did you guys have some questions about uh, etiquette? Sure. What is the first rule of backstage etiquette? Well, I would say the first rule is for kids a little bit older than you, but the first rule is to not show up drunk or on drugs. Do that. That's awesome. I didn't yeah. think you would. Is there anything we should not do? I think you should probably not punch them. Don't do any hair mess ups. Like this? Yeah, yeah, don't do that. That's probably frowned upon. And uh, don't ask them about their love life. Other than that, you should be good. That'd be good. You can ask them about their favorite sports team. You can ask them about music that they like. Things like that, you'd be good. What was the strangest or funniest thing you have, you have seen backstage? Uh, it wasn't backstage, but I did see a band once take a big cake and smoosh it on the windshield of another band's band. I thought you were going to say, I thought you were going to say someone who was a person, they smooshed it on their face. No, they yeah. just smooshed it on the band. And then once they saw that and they went, then the other band came out and then they started throwing cake back and forth. And, it was messy. Cake fight. It was a cake yeah. fight. Cake fight. What was your favorite meet and greet? My favorite meet and greet, well, I'll go with uh, my first one when I was working at meet and greet was B.B. King because he was just so nice and he was so famous. He didn't have to be nice, but he took time with everybody and had a conversation with them. It wasn't just a hot photo see ya. He is, actually spent a bit of time talking to him. Is B.B. King still alive? No, unfortunately he's not. As a fan, probably my favorite one was uh, meeting Keith Richards of the Rolling Stones. Were you ever starstruck when you were at meeting Keith? Yeah, meeting Keith Richards was pretty starstruck. Keith Richards also had a drummer in his band uh, named Steve Jordan, who I was a huge fan of. So meeting those two was pretty cool. I bet Arkells for Tom would be very good. Arkells is going to be the one, hey? That'll be good. Is there someone on your bucket list, live or dead, you would like to meet? Prob prob I'll name you two. Probably the two that would be cool would be either Jimi Hendrix or Miles Davis. Because they were just uh, so ahead of their time. And it'd be, uh, it'd be neat to just uh, spend some time talking to them about music. What is your favorite venue? Uh, I'd say my favorite venue uh, is no longer here, but it used to be the, the state. I used to love going to see shows at the state, and I saw shows in that room for about 25 years, so it was always one of my favorite places. Thank you for joining Hey, it was great to meet you. So, Tom, do you now think you're ready for the Yeah. Let's go. Hey, Tom, what do you think of the Arkells? Yeah, they're cool.
Seeds was in a house, and we got to play like a house party. So like, we set up all of our equipment in the middle of the living room, and uh, we had to have a party with a bunch of our friends. It was pretty cool. Any other questions? Tom, give him the pucks. Give him the pucks. Give him the pucks. Give him the pucks. <laughs> what do we got here? Tom, the Massey twins, and Bob. Tom and Bob. Nice. Give them all at one, Tom. Thank you very much. Now turn around for a photo, guys. Get in close. We need some pucks. Thanks for coming.
Get home safe with the RFLs. Thanks very much for having us.